Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Ready to the table. Of course, you and I were here. We're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. A quick reminder: if you love me, I love you back. I love you with the with. I love you back to back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Where's my backpacker? Of course, one leg. One leg is in Miami. We made it to Miami. Another leg is in Silicon Valley of Africa, aka Kangawood, aka Iyabohanse, the famous village in Africa where you see content creators. Yani, each family got a content creator. But when something happens, we will be looking for footages here and there. When a reactor do his job to bring the news to us, it, it becomes a problem as well. People start complaining. Oh, why are you invading in their privacy? Who asked them to bring their own thing on here? Who asked them to be doing YouTube? In? Who asked them to bring their family on YouTube? Who forced them to be public? You want to be found if you want to be private, it's your choice. Guys, have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. Me, I got my borough of water here. Who do we have here today? Coco Mama of the Most High is here. You are here. Of course, the Kenges, the Kenge Wood, Roro, ro, 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 racist. Congress dad is missing. Congress dad is missing. Alert, guys. We are looking for our Congress dad. This is not coming from me. It's coming from his son, the Virginia. Repeatedly, the Virginia is saying, I'm looking for my dad. It's not easy to be alone without your parents. It's not easy to be in this mansion. Mansioning alone. I miss my parents. Oh, he made it clear, I'm cooking, I'm cooking for my parents. The Virginia claimed that he was cooking for his parents, but he ended up only cooking for Congress mom. He took the whole matoke that he made, put it in a flax, boom, to the villa, Villa Medellin. Villa Medellin, where we have cooks, but they can't cook for their mother. Villa Medellin, where we have a partner that claims that she's protecting her partner. Maro, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this to protect you. People must come on appointment. We are freaking very busy here. And we are busy with our moves. We are busy with our donkeys. We are busy with our horses. You guys should leave me alone. Leave me on a more serious note. Mrs. Maya is here. Of course, Tayo Aina is a travel vlogger, <laughs> making it big time. He's a Nigerian, but of course, with Caribbean passport. He's the guy that bought himself a nice passport. Check in effect is on this table, guys. Can we get started? You guys should leave me alone. I'm tired of you guys this morning. Leave me alone in my small corner because I'm... I don't wanna. I don't wanna. On a more serious note, I don't wanna. Where do we start? The Virginia of Africa said, when I saw this title, I said, okay, finally, our Congress that has surfaced again. Apart from a reactor, you know, ambushing him while he was in the farm, busy. Now, at least, Congress that is coming to see his wife. Guys, you can't be doing, you can't be on social media and you are acting like you want to live a private life. It's not possible. Whether you want to believe it or not, except if you have decided to take yourself off social media, there's nothing like privacy. In one way or the other, you will say something that will implicate you. You will say something that will get you into trouble. You will say something that will make the reactors be like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're looking for your dad. You're cooking for your dad. At the same time, you're claiming that you are alone in this house. You're looking for your dad. Your mom is by your brother's place. Until now, we have not seen him coming. Village grandpa is back to Whitey. We welcome him back. Well, he did, he met up. Village grandpa went to the Marwas to see Congress more. Okay. <laughs> guys, I heard you guys telling me that you are not suspecting that Congress mom got stroke. Alhamdulillah, we thank God, mashallah. It's not our prayer. <laughs> our prayer that nobody will have stroke in this our space. No, it's not our wish. Congress mom is health conscious, but she still needs to go see a physician. Why do I say that she's health conscious? The matuke that, <laughs> the matuke, why do I say that? Matuke that, that Virginia made for her, I think he made it salty. 
Mm, the food was salty. Congressman was like, get a Virginia next time, eh? <laughs> Take it easy with salt. Don't come and kill me here with high blood pressure. So when someone is cautious of, you know, her sodium intake, conscious of the kind of water she takes, it tells you that, okay, this person knows what she's doing. She's aware of all these things. It's very, very important. Fruit is good. I love fruits more than anything. You understand? But when you are sitting idle all the time, when you are not moving a lot, forget about her. You guys are telling me, oh, congressman doesn't have stroke. It's not our wish. We're not wishing anybody to have stroke here. It's not our prayer at all. I'm just saying, when you can move the left arm and you can move the right arm, is somehow, you understand? That's why I said what I said. I didn't say that she got stroke. I'm not wishing her stroke either. Her son has wished us worse things here. Yeah. Wished us sickness. Wished our children. Wished us sickness. Cancer, stroke, high blood pressure. Can't you see she's catching her breath? I am still catching my breath. One year down the line, Coco Mama is still here, striving her best. Catching. I have three. I'm catching it and I'm sucking it in. And he's still allowing me to come on here. Mm -hmm. I'm be dishing it out to him. We are the ones that let this guy do damage control. 73 year old that our Jamaica uncle interviewed opened Baba Marawa's nyash. And that is the time Baba Marawa now decided to interview this guy and was like, how old are you? Thank you. Oh, so you can handle this machine. Oh, thank you for doing this. Oh, we can't wait to have you back. You will, and here Baba, of course, stripped. Here Baba saying, we'll be leaving tonight. Marawa is embarrassed. Marawa is embarrassed to the core that he will use this 73 year old just for his own selfish gain. He is embarrassed to the core. Congress mom is also embarrassed, telling us that oh, Marwa provides enough water here, but there are so many workers. So you guys should not feel that we don't have water. And they're going to tell us that we are witches. You see, they are witches because they, Marwa said it to his audience. If you watch these guys, don't watch them, guys. He even told his army, don't watch. Fight for me. Uh, cost the hell out of them. Throw insults at them. Accuse them of cheating on their husbands. Accuse them of doing wrong stuff. Eh? Do everything you can do, but don't watch them. What is happening? They are here. They are glued. All of them. Both mom, dad. Where is Congress dad? The Virginia should make this thing make sense to us. Not when he comes with all these crazy titles. And then he's saying, I'm looking for my dad, guys. Hopefully. He ended his video by saying, hopefully by the time I get home, Congress dad will be there. Uh, 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 uh. Seeing is what believing. We don't want audio stuff. We don't want stuff that will make you smile to the bank. You want people to click fast, fast and be like, oh, Congress dad is finally in the villa. Where is Congress dad? Didn't I tell you guys that hush, hush that Congress dad ran to another younger lady is there. And there's another thing I noticed. We can see now that Congress mom is moving the affected hand, okay? She's moving. It's very, very important that she will exercise these fingers at, at least to increase circulation because, hey, you don't want to treat one problem and then face even a major one. That is it. You understand? So while she was moving this arm, I noticed some discolorations. I'm like, what is going on here? I thought this should be fracture. Why is he now looking like, more like a lot of bruises around? Could this be another reason why she's always wrapping it up and not letting us see it? Shana Arwa, our baby girl's bestie, Bimwango's bestie, okay? <laughs> Bimwango is still activating. You guys should leave me alone. Go, 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 eh? Today on, why are you like this? Hmm? You want to say this one, you are jumping to another one. The Mwango is still busy activating donation. Hey! Guys, I'm asking only 300 USD. My question is, how much is 300 USD? Only 300 USD in Kenyan shillings. I need answer. Madam D, I'm only asking. I've been traveling as a travel vlogger. I spend money every day to travel. Oh, who doesn't spend money? As a sit-down reactor, I spend money also. <laughs> Of course, I spend money as a sit-down reactor. Nothing is free. I spend money on my Wi-Fi. I spend money on my makeup. I spend money to look good like this for you guys. Mm -hmm. What is she talking about? Who doesn't spend money? Huh? We are eating sansan. 
and we are drinking pot of water. <laughs> like in Yabahazi village. <laughs> you guys see. Baby girl, <laughs> baby, baby girl cafe, shout out to you. She said she has seen Marwa drinking that river water. Is it not you spoiling your own business for yourself? I can understand if he says, oh, you know what? I have boho. I got my water fixed. Why can't Marwa fix even this water issue? So that even his neighbors can come in and get clean drinking water. Why can't he do it? A rich guy like you. Eh? This is somehow. Guys, where do we start? Can we start looking at these clips? Because Coco Mama, I don't want to lie to you. Your own is too much this morning. Like I was telling you guys, before we start digesting, before we start dissecting and digesting this one, I want to tell you something about in Shona. Shona Arwa. Okay? This lady posted on her community about some family that she has met up with. And I'm going to put it up here. So she's saying, guys, you want to reach out to them? Reach out to them directly. Here are the contact details. The number was missing. People that wanted to help, okay? Because people, people are tired of give this person to give to the other person. It's just like what our uncle, Jamaica uncle, is doing. You are in this village. This village, you can tell that you have already arrived. It's a full-grown man that you at least i'm very sure that this guy is well experienced you should move around and look very well you listen you look you feel before you act no don't just throw your money anyhow because this is just wouldn't that travel like see of didn't i tell you guys of course his ogre sent him to do this and you want to compare yourself to mr beast Mr. Beast came to Africa building well for people and people are saying no he's challenging the government he's also collecting donations he has always done great stuff he, uh, people donate willingly he doesn't activate donations that's number one and nobody has ever questioned his accountability nobody has ever nobody is a child here and your boss that just sent you to do this Yamayama video oh we are jealous of you <laughs> At least you have identified your problem now. We are jealous of you. Deal with it. Okay? Just understand that whatever we are doing here, we are doing it out of jealousy. All right, Mr. Burundi, guys, your own is too much. Coco Mama, what is going on here? Like I was telling, this bestie shared this information. You know, if you want to reach out to someone, which is the, the ultimate thing, which is the best thing to do. You go direct. Don't go corner cornering. You want to bless someone. I need the contact details of that person. You go direct and bless that person. Period. No need to say, oh, I'm giving you this to give to this person, to give to the needy. That is BS. The information that she shared was incorrect. And her audience that wanted actually to reach out to this family, more than four people were asking. Can you check the number? The number is not complete. The number is not correct. Can you check? Can you check? They are writing in English. They are writing in Swahili just in case she doesn't read English. Because it's not everybody that speaks English can actually read English. You can, mashallah, speak good English, but you can read. <laughs> I've seen stuff like that. So that is why I'm saying it. Mm -hmm. So we are expecting Eve to correct herself and put the correct number. It's taking her hours. Maybe by the time I drop this video, she must have corrected it. Because Coco Mama, I filmed my video very early in the morning. Because of some of you guys that don't know, you might think, oh, you see, you are lying. You are lying. Don't think I filmed my video and I drop it within one hour. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. I filmed my video very, very early in the morning. Send it to the person that will help me clean it up. The person may not clean it properly, you understand? <laughs> but at least the person will help clean it and make it make sense to you guys. And then I will drop it later on according to my audience time because the highest people that watch this content, okay, are from Yankee. Uh -huh. They are always on the top list, followed by the Kenyans, the British, Australian, and every other person. Of course, even you, 1%, it counts. Mm -hmm. Your head counts your presence counts and i want to appreciate you all so that's why i tend not to drop my video normally i can drop this video like five hours after but i tend to drop it according to the time that you guys will catch it up okay <laughs> catch it catch it catch it sharp sharp so she hasn't given that incorrect information so that people will i'm like yeah where to go 
She was like, yeah, 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 I'm giving their contact details. You're not sending the money to me. You're sending it direct to this family. It touches you to help them. Here are their details, okay? You can go direct and help them. That's a way to do it. That's how charity should be done. Are we fighting people in Africa? Are we against our own fellow brothers and sisters because they do charity? Hell no, we are not. We start opening our eyes. We start asking questions. When we have seen some foul plays, when we have seen that mm -mm, this one happened and nothing happened, this one asked, when this person went to India, asked for 10,000 USD to bring some Afro-Indians to Kenya to see Africa. Six months, this person is no longer talking about it. Where's the money? We start asking questions. They come back and they start calling us evil. They come back and they start, instead of giving us answers, instead of making it make sense to us, they come back and they start insulting us. We look again, we are like, oh, guys, help. Team D, Team D, you can do this. Even one dollar can go a long way. Eh? That money that you are lavishing in Yankee, that money that you are wasting, you can send it to Africa and send 100 children to school. You'll be like, okay, let me share. Why not? If not, boom, 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 boom. They carry this money and they divert it. Start spending it on their families. Start giving their families kitchen makeover and house makeover. And then the person that you contributed this money for, you are, after a while, you hearing stories. Oh, mattress was not bought. Oh, actually, this mama doesn't have bed. Actually, this mama is sick, 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 sick. Actually, this one is not yet completed. She collected this amount of money. No accountability. You can easily tell your audience, guys, Tim D, do this, do this, without even telling them how you have spent this money. Excuse me, BT, comparing himself. Comparing the charity work that Mr. Beast is doing, the whole world. This guy is not even an African. Shame on you if you're going to compare. I don't blame these guys because let me tell you guys that our Marwa is about to activate the biggest donation campaign. Is it not making sense now? Here, her mother doing it in church way. The Virginia doing it in church way. Now they are coming with another dimension to divert our mind. Now this church, Seventh-day Adventist. The Virginia is collecting. D is collecting. Congress mom is collecting. Information we are getting is that in Seventh Day Adventists, if they want to raise funds to do stuff in church, there is a way they do it. They have a particular channel to do that. It's not done individually. So all this campaign, all this money that Congress mom and her children are raising. In the name of building a church, you come to this church, the first thing you are seeing is a toilet. Yani, as a church member, I'm coming with my Bible. Hallelujah, amen. Hey, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Oh, hey, hallelujah. Hey, hey, oh, sing hallelujah. Hey, you know in that church mood, you guys should leave me alone. I don't want that. As soon as I come in, the first thing is the smell from pit latrine. Ya Arabia. Who does that? What kind of construction is this one? A uh, toilet should be at the back. When you, in the presence of God, there should be sanity. There should be joy. Uh, there should be excitement. Not in the presence of God. You are smelling caca everywhere. You are smelling urine. Flies, all these big, big flies. You know those ones that when it comes close to you, it will break your eardrum. You always see it in pit latrine. <laughs> you always see those kind of uh, flies. In pit latrine, you know what I mean. So they are using this and using the name of Seventh Day Adventist. Hell no, this is not Seventh Day Adventist way. Guys, we have people that look into matters here. <laughs> Me, I don't know book. I'm not gonna come here and be like, you know, Coco Mama, you're a scholar. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm very, very intelligent. <laughs> you guys, uh, I don't know, but I know enough to know people that know. <laughs> I know people that know their stuff here. And they always come to our rescue. So, are you sure that is a church? Are you sure it's not a private company? Are you sure it's not a factory or something? You guys should be paying attention to these things that we are saying. Be paying attention. Congress dad is missing. Where is our Congress dad? Has he run away? Because of what? Eh? Even if you have fought with your wife, 
Why is this thing lingering like this? Why is it not getting better? Yes, our Congress mom is looking brighter, getting better and getting better, eating her fruits, you know, doing her vlog. <laughs> vlogging is not our mate. Congress mom is still vlogging. As you are vlogging, make sure you are exercising. Don't exercise only on camera. Off camera, make sure those fingers are moving. Okay? And go back to your family. Make it work. It's a woman that brings peace in family. Is a woman that brings peace in the family, not guy. Is a woman that brings peace and unity in the family, not the man. Uh, not, I'm not saying that a man cannot bring peace, but the woman is the neck of the family. Why the man is the head? And who controls the head? Of course, the woman. The neck will control the head. Mm? You turn like this, head will turn. Hey, of course, guys in the house, don't come for Coco Mama. Don't come and tell me that. Are you now trying to say that women will start controlling men? Of course, you don't know. Women control men in a nice way. Mm -hmm. They know how to do it. I'm not going to come here and give out our secret, but we know how to do it. We know how to, you know, we know how to get to men. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you know, what I'm saying is, Congress won by now. She'll be going home. Because here you are by the Marowas. They eat alone. They do their own thing alone. You are there. Early in the morning, you have woken up your son. This is someone, because they watch too much reaction. This is someone defending that Marowa, no, no, no. Marowa is doing his best here. No, no, you guys don't think we don't have water here. But I like Davujino to cook my own water for me. I like Davujino to boil my water. Mm. You guys should not think that uh, we don't have water in another. Marowa is trying his best. Oh, even though Marowa will give me food, Davujino, but you work him up early in the morning. Davujino will always expose something to us. You understand? The Virginia will always give us a hint of what is going on. The Virginia said, Mommy, remember you woke me up very early to get water for you. As the Virginia is bringing five liters, he's going back with empty one to go boil for more. <laughs> Look at the pond. A gentle guy has a pond. And also, he's taking care of Marawa's pond. Guys, I feel like... Eh? I'm struggling now to share proofs to you guys. Because why we are cutting the clips and bringing it here is because of people that will say you lie a lot. You lie a lot. So we'll bring it here for proof that whatever we are saying is what we have seen. But I don't know why these days I struggle to play the clips, you know. I don't know why I struggle to play the clips now. Even when I'm talking, sometimes I have to like squeeze myself to play these clips to you guys. Otherwise, there will be no time for us to listen to these people, okay? To get it from them, direct from the horse's mouth. Get it direct from them. Now, this Jintu guy is showing Marwa's pond. is green, green, green. It's dirty, 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 dirty. As an African woman that I am, I'm prone to mosquito bites. I'm prone to malaria. Guys, I don't want to lie to you. I will not sleep in that house with that food, with that filthy fish pond that I saw there. Green, green, that is uh, what? That is a big breed of mosquito. That is breed for mosquito. I'm not going to feel comfortable to even sleep for one hour in that villa. With that yeah, 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 pond, you can tell that that yeah, 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 pond is breeding mosquito. It's breeding millions of mosquito that can affect the whole neighborhood. Did I hear that Mama Anne is not feeling well? We wish her quick recovery. I don't believe in all this going to nearby chemist shop because um, over-the-counter medication can kill. It can kill. Self-medication can kill. If you cannot be managed with paracetamol after two days, you check 1,000 milligram paracetamol, you're still feeling the same, still tired, lethargic, no appetite, fever. You take another one, you're still feeling the same. Go see a doctor before it's too late, before it will result to something major. That's what I want to say about Mama Anne. We heard that she's not feeling well, and her daughter took her to pharmacy shop. These are the kind of people that our Jamaica uncle is supposed to go see. Eh? Empower some of those widows there, whether they are fake widows. You know, 
some of these guys that do charity, they use fake women. They use women to get their money. Okay? They bring false stories. Hmm. If you are supporting anybody doing charity in your hands at this point, then you need serious deliverance. And we're going to pray for you. Serious prayer. Guys, let's start digesting these things because Coco Mama, eh? Coco Mama, stop it. Where do we start, guys? I think we're going to start from. Let's start. I think we're going to start from BT guy comparing his stuff. Compare, comparing himself. Of course, his August sent him to do this kind of nonsense content to insult reactors, to remind us that we are jealous, to remind us that what they are doing, we are not happy with it. Remind us that, oh, they are making it big time, mm, building this house very fast, a house that nobody else has ever done. Okay. Is our guy is the one? Of course, Takenge is behind BT's video. Mayugno last week came with his own nonsense, calling us evil, insulting his audience. Is he not facing it now? <laughs> he told his audience, if you are watching reaction video, you are a witch. Now, what is happening? You are still begging those witches to watch you, to watch your nonsense. Let's watch BT, guys. Any, uh, maybe an African started to glow and maybe start to get some money and maybe start some project supporting people. They try, our fellow African try to take you down, try to take you down. Yeah, for example, Mr. Beast came to Africa, built some well, different countries over there. Hey, hey, he did that. Yeah, people, they just say, oh, this guy is challenging the, uh, the, the, uh, the government. So stupid of you. Shut up. Shut your dirty mouth, pity. That is so stupid of you to think that we are jealous of you because people support you to finish your house, <laughs> which doesn't even make sense. This guy copies. He copies a lot. He copies his boss a lot. Tell me why he cannot do stuff like this as the only son of his mom back in Burundi. Okay, he has Kenyan citizenship and so freaking what? Charity begins at home. He should do stuff like this. No, but he wants to copy. He believes that if he's not in Yabohanze, he's not going to make it. If he's not in Yabohanze, nobody will watch him. Nobody will notice that he's existing, which is pure lies. Okay, this guy has inspired you. This guy, just like Faith Boke, got her own inspiration. And she's killing it. She's doing it her own way. You wouldn't expect her now to come live in the villa and be like, Oh, Mara, because you have me through your platform, I'm going to live with you now 24-7. No. You tap from that person. You go do it your own. You go back to your country. Nobody is jealous that people are supporting him. For what reason? The only thing that is pissing me off mainly about this guy is not even the fact, okay, I said what I said, which is just my mere opinion. It doesn't count. I said that he could have done this back home, being the only son of... His mom, he could have done this. His mom would be more proud of him. And you don't beg. These guys, they are not listening to themselves. You don't beg, guys, please support me. Oh, you can see I've moved in. I don't have ceilings. I don't have this. I don't have that. You can see, people can see. He's even showing his store where he's packing the cement and all. He's showing it and he's not saying anything, but he's saying a lot. <laughs> you cannot do this in a foreign land. You understand? If you want to invest in a foreign land, it must come from your sweat. These guys are senseless. It must come from your pocket. You cannot be in a foreign land. As I am now, I moved to Yankee. I'm, I'm here begging you guys. Can you help me because I want to build a house in Yankee? How does that feel? How do I look? What do I think my audience will look like? Like they don't know what to do with their money. That is it. Why is he begging? He, he's always begging. He claimed now that the money that he used to build this house, that he built so fast, he's now accepting that he built it so fast, okay? He said that some of the money he saved. But you go back. This is someone that claimed that he has been saving money. You go back to his videos before he started building this house. You will hear him saying, guys, I don't have money for a laptop. Guys, I need laptop. So you were lying to us. You had savings. 
that you used to build your house, but you are asking people to help you buy a laptop. You always asking people to help you for, with your tickets. When he went to India, he was begging. He was begging for money for accommodation. And I was like, who does that? Before you move to a new place, you must have made your plans. Even the embassy will not give you visa if you did not show them where you're going to stay. And they have to be convinced. Otherwise, immigration will not let you into their country. They don't want to come and add problems to their own problems. They don't want to come and bring somebody who will be roaming around in the streets, homeless. They want to see proof of your hotel, proof that you have made your reservation, possibly maybe made payment. They want to see all that. Before, you sh before visa will be issued. So he has been begging. He has been copying Marwa. He has been begging. Now they want to start attacking. Again, Baba Marwa is attacking Nairobi teacher. Calling him different names. You are claiming that he slept in your house when he came and you helped him. Nairobi teacher did not sleep in that villa. That villa was not even um that villa that time that they the that villa that time that Nairobi teacher came to Yamaha. That was over a year ago. He was not ready. Mara was still by his parents' house. So how can you say that he slept? You know, he even slept in this house. Or was he referring to his parents' house? I don't get it. And even if, I mean, even if you have killed a cow for somebody, it doesn't mean that you own that person. It doesn't mean that that person cannot tell you the truth. Because I haven't seen anything that this guy has done. This is not the first time Baba Marwa is attacking him. For what reason? Because he has decided to become a reactor. And not a reactor that will sugarcoat or mix his words or pretend. He wants to say things the way it is. He wants to state the facts. He, I mean, imagine, guys, for example, if the robot teacher, you know, started reacting, insulting lazy reactors, and of course supporting his organ, do you think Mara will be this mad at him? Mara is saying, this is a guy that I've met. He's not even like, he's not even like those ones that we have not met. This is a guy. Let's listen to him. My, 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 to, uh, good. Ready to travel. Yeah, man. Ready to travel. Ready, ready to, to travel. Yeah, man. Everything on the. Everything is everything. Wagwan. Yeah. Wagwan, man. So do you know how to drive? Yeah, I, yeah, I try, but I'm not gonna drive here. Yeah. <laughs> I drive when I was in Jamaica. Okay. <laughs> but it's, it's a many years now. Automatic or a geared one? Um, automatic. I automatic. drive a gear one oh, too. Oh, yeah. you can try it. Yes. If yeah. Mara can, why can you not? No, I'm not gonna drive. No. Yeah. I'm a tourist. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna try something, yeah. you know? Everything gonna be very possible. Yeah, I'll try. So Everything. you are going for a little adventure. Yes. Everything gonna be very possible, guys. Uh, yeah, keep man. it locked. Is here, and they're gonna be informing you more about how Kenya is. Exactly. And I am Mara the spot this is All gonna right. be a fantastic time ever possible guys come and explore i'm telling only you what man. we need is appointment appointment okay only appointment okay then you get to access yeah, uncle yeah jamaican uncle here yeah, so man. a little bit uh let's see how the feeding uh, is uh, on progress and everything how right. it's ongoing so this is the fisherman fisherman live too. one live. on one yeah man. yeah guys uh let's check uh, this was now they're feeding right let me go and feed mine now Okay. Yeah. So here mm -hmm. I'm done with these ones today. Okay. So I'm gonna be heading to my fish farm. Okay. So as I can feed dangerous, dangerous fish pond here. <laughs> this pond is actually producing more mosquitoes than fish. <laughs> it's breeding more mosquitoes than fish. And that is why people will always be sick in that villa. The managers, both of them are sick. I haven't seen Oli Mashubo. I wonder where he is because the two guy is the one taking this guy around showing him places taking him on a ride i hope he's enjoying his stay i hope he's i hope he's taking care of his health that is the most important thing this one that our jamaican uncle wants to spend two months in the Yabuhanze. hey i hope he's even feeding well <laughs> don't get me wrong i know i grew up like that eating starch ogale ogale we call it fufu 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 sometimes we even eat it as breakfast even as I am now, if I'm not watching my weight, like, you know, I can eat ugali in the morning. As early as, uh, like, 6 a.m., the appetite is always, you know. But too much of this starch is a problem. 
where I come from, it has made a lot of people blind, this cassava one, because we swallow it, we make it as fufu, and then that's the one we swallow with the gravy. We also eat it as a cereal, okay? That one we call it soki, soki like gari. We eat it in different form. We eat it like pasta. We call that one abacha. I don't know if you guys remember, there was another vlogger that went to my state, Enugu, and did a vlog. He went to a village where almost every family in that village got eye problem. It's from this cassava. Cassava can really give health problem. So that is why I'm saying this. Ogali in the morning, Ogali in the afternoon. Ogali, guys, I want him to try Ogali. As you are trying Ogali, make sure you are balancing it with protein. That's why I like my South African friends. Um, my South African colleagues, you eat with them. They eat starch, okay? Maybe small rice, small, they eat also this Ogali. They call it pap, okay? Small rice, small pap like that with a lot of vegetables and a lot of gravy and in my own plate i have this big bowl of rice and small piece of meat and gravy and it's like a shock to them mama what are you doing to yourself you're eating too much starch too much starch is killing us in africa i know we are not into fast food and all this but this too much starch 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 is not i'm also talking to myself i'm really really conscious of it like if i must eat starch at least i will minimize it once a day maybe heavy one in the afternoon because it's not easy something you grew up with mm? i'm like baba marwa also i don't play with my starch but i can't eat it morning afternoon night oh we got to do better mm? we can do better what is this so i hope jamaican grandpa is not being fed with starch in the morning starch in the afternoon starch in the evening Congress mom is actually taking care of herself. I can see she's eating a lot of fruits. But this fruits that she's eating again contains a lot of sugar, especially if you're not active. Like we can tell that where she is, she's not moving that much. Nobody can tell me anything. Yes, we can tell that she's okay to some extent, but she still needs to be more active. Yeah, she needs to go back to her home. She needs to make peace with her husband. We can tell that something is not right with Congress mom and Congress dad. Apart from the hints that the Virginia has given us, we are not babies here. We can tell. We know. <laughs> and we are not laughing at them because the people that watch them, okay, some of us here might be going through even more family challenges more than what they are facing. So it's not like we are laughing or we are pretending like we got our own thing sorted. No, but when they throw it out here like this, if congressman will go private, I will even prefer it. But you know that Virginia is using her to cash out. Someone said that Coco Mama, don't forget that this is scripted and she has to go with the flow. Well, it's true because it's working for the Virginia. And why is the Virginia and Mr. Kenge not talking? You come to my house and we cannot even exchange words. There was a time that Virginia was inside the room with his mom and Mr. Kenge was talking and opened the door. As soon as I heard his voice, but he didn't come in because the Virginia was inside. What is going on? What is the beef all about? Is this something that they cannot resolve? I heard huge, huge that he borrowed money from the Virginia and the Virginia fought him like hell to collect his money back. I mean, even if you, you borrowed money to your siblings, you want your money, you want it, period. You borrowed money to your brother, you borrowed money to your sister, and you are asking him or her for the money, and she's not giving it back to you. It's not a big thing. Blood is thicker than water. That's what I want to say. There is more to this. Why is the Virginia always in a hurry? Whatever he wants to draw for Congress, mom, he will not spend more than 10 minutes there. He's out. What is going on? Hey, let's continue watching. Let's watch Mr. Kenge. Interviewing this other guy that showed up. <laughs> Uncle Mo embarrassed Mr. Kenge this time. This guy showed up from Nairobi. And uh, of course, Roro Roro refused to let him in. He was at the gate since Sunday. He arrived from Nairobi on Sunday. For three days, he was not allowed to see Baba Marwa because he didn't bring stuff to the table. Are you telling me that if that guy came in with a goat since Sunday at that gate, that the gate man will not open? Or... Get man calling Marwa. Oh, boss, there's someone from Nairobi here. 
one yellow skinned guy, he brought a goat. Yeah, goat, tell him I'm coming. Just keep him there by the gate. I'm coming. My one will leave everything he's doing. Huh? Donation, donation, collection, collection, collection. If you are not bringing anything. Okay, now, another thing I want to say is this fake bucket that came with 20 liters of fuel. Are you going to tell me that she came in with appointment? You guys should reason this with me. Uh, are you going to tell me that that's it, okay? And can you see how that girl, I told you guys that we're going to look at her things, the kind of content she's doing. She has so many viral videos, 300K, 300K, 700K, 500K. She has so many viral videos. Why would she have viral videos when she's exposing her body like this? CEO told me, Coco Mama, leave her. She got the banker body. She has a beautiful body. Let her display it. It's working for her. It's putting food on the table for her. I don't have problem with it. But don't come and make Marawa look like, oh, because people watching this, yeah, 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 uh, appreciation video will feel like, oh, since this fate made it by coming to Marawa, let me hustle and get something and come to Marawa as well. People will start flocking in, bringing more stuff. You know, even borrowing or even stealing from others to come and please Marawa so that Marawa will give them one minute exposure. That doesn't work. No, I don't have a problem with that, the kind of content Faith is doing. Whether she's selling her body on IG, I don't freaking care. If you look at her, you can see how she dressed. That will tell you that it's purely for content. All these short, short things that she's wearing, exposing her body, you know, do all these things, river batting. Da, 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 da. I know it's for content. Atrina Boke, Miki Miki Boke, all of them, Ruby Girl, they are all in that lane. Mm -hmm. But they have not blown yet. Just appreciate him, but don't say, Marawa, because of you, I've received my first pay. Because of you, eh, I can now take care of my parents, furnish their house for them. Because of you, I made 10,000 USD from one viral video, Marawa. It's because of you. Nai. It's not because of him. It's because of your hard work. It's because of the kind of content that you are doing. This kind of content is what? Mm, people are coming on top of your head because of those kind of content. Just say that, okay, he gave you the special and that's it. But don't give him the credit like the way this fat girl did it. This guy, like I was telling you guys before we watch, this guy came for three days. He was not allowed. Mara gave him 2,000 Kenyan shillings to go back to where he was coming from. According to Marwa, he didn't come with appointments. So there's no way. Of course, Roro, Roro according to Marwa, he discussed with his partner. And Roro, Roro was not happy to welcome him. Because if this was Marwa, before this racist came into his life, there's no way Marwa would be mean like this to people, to his people. You understand? Because he knows it will not take him anything. Mumkin, maybe only one minute, and that's it. It will not remove anything from him. But because of this racist, he has to get permission before he will do anything. Just to please this girl, just to make sure that this girl will not be pissed off and, of course, leave. So this girl said no. And they gave this guy 2,000. Again, activation hey this good guy that gives people random people money like yani i don't know you you are coming from nairobi and so freaking well but i gave you money i'm a good guy mm -hmm. you know that guy i told you guys that marua is up to something so there he is he went to uncle mo he decided not to leave i will not leave either i cannot travel all the way here, yeah, people, there's another content creator I heard that passed away. He was on his way to Yabahanze from Nairobi and he passed away. He had an accident and he died. Or she, I'm not sure. But a content creator. After taking this risk, okay, whatever that made you to embark on this kind of journey with that appointment, you cannot just leave because somebody gave you 2000 I can be stubborn like that. So what he did, he went to Uncle Mo. And he told Uncle Mo, please, can you talk to your nephew, okay? Can you talk to him? Because I've come all the way from Nairobi. And he turned me back and he gave me 2000 Marwa misunderstood it and thought that he went to Mo to complain. Mo came to Marwa, of course, to plead on the guy's behalf. 
But Marwa misunderstood it and finally let the guy in. And after that, he had a road running her mouth. You know, I'm here to protect you, Marwa. You also brought me here and we need to look out for our relationship. This racist is so selfish and always on the side of what she was. What do you give out also? Why are you only focusing on what you want? You want to feel comfortable. You want to feel safe. Here, someone who you want to settle down with, his mom has been there. What have you done for her? You claiming that you are busy. People must come on appointment. What have you done? And I don't know why this guy is not still seeing this. You are very useless there. So what are you talking about? Oh, I'm here to protect you. We should also understand that we need to also protect our relationship. People cannot show up who are busy with so many stuff. Tell me what you are busy with. You are taking care of horses. Mm? In five minutes. Okay, if she's the one taking care of horses, why did they hire someone that drags the horses to where they will eat grass? <laughs> Finally, I think they got saddles for the horses. I just overheard ru -ru -ru -ru, telling Mara, oh, I'm busy fixing the saddles. Finally, after long run. Guys, let's watch this guy. I feel sorry for people that still believe that Mara will make them blow. <laughs> I feel very sorry for them. Actually, if I'm going to come to that Iyabohanze as a Kenyan, regular Kenyan person who wants to start up my YouTube channel, I'm just saying, if I'm going to come, I mustn't come to Marwa. I can go to the lowest person or I can even as well rent a room there like SPA did and also African cook. Of course, she came and she rented a place. And if she was still by herself, okay, African cook rented a place when she first came to Yabuhansi and she saw the views and she saw that, okay, she's doing better actually compared to where she was coming from. But her greedness is what destroyed everything for her. Because if she had stayed on her own without, you know, moving in, without going to Marawa, proposing to Marawa, I'm going to do gardening kitchen for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to give in Marawa all these ideas with no payment. Like, Yani, the only thing she gained was the view. And she even bought cooking wares for Maro and she did all that nonsense. If she didn't go to that extent, I think she would still be doing fine in Yabuhansa. It's just like the PA now. But this PA, you can tell that this PA is up to something. She is definitely not backing off. Because, of course, they have done stuff. You go back, you see. Congress mom was not in that house. Davu Jr. was in Nairobi doing his own thing. Congress dad, of course, you know, he's always in his shamba doing his own stuff. They were busy knocking each other, dusting each other up and down. Dusting, dusting, dusting. Marawa, enjoy, enjoy. Of course, the Kengen knock, 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 knock. When he got satisfied, he brought his woman, man woman. Because, of course, that is where the money comes from. Mm? Light skin things. That's where he makes his money from. And this PA became upset and left the villa without telling Marawa anything. And Mr. Kenge found out and became mad at her. Uh, later on, she came back. Now she brought this gift to Roro Roro. What do you think, guys? Her channel is dead, 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 dead. Her channel is sinking, like going down the drain. And she has to activate and do everything to revive herself. And in order for her to be close to Roro Roro, she has to bring something to the table. Now, Samu Junior, if you want to see your father, go to Chamba. Let's tell you how you find your father. If your father is not in that villa, he's probably sleeping with his woman. You understand? <laughs> he has finally found his peace of mind. All that glitters is not good. Mm? So, this is a saying that they have this mansion. They have this beautiful life in that Yabuhanze. They are popular. <laughs> Every day, people are watching the same nonsense from the same villa. People are watching. They are making this money. And yet, there's no peace. What does that tell you? All that glitters is not good. That Virginia, if you need to see your father, learn from Ernest and go look for him in his shamba. Definitely, you will find him there. Let's watch this guy from Nairobi and Mr. Kenge. Mr. Kenge again, coming after Nairobi teacher. If I was Nairobi teacher, I would completely ignore him. I'll be doing my thing. Yani? That's it. Be doing your own thing. So long as you know that you are stating the facts. So long as you know that 
whatever you are reacting on is what they have shared here. Just ignore. Put your ignore button. I was given that 2000 for transport, not for... Not, not that I, I complained about the money. But, okay. but my question is, why would you come to my home with no appointment? Even after we said, really, everybody needs appointment. Because I realize people like you sometimes, you just want to rub us with bad shoulder. Put, make us look so bad. Oh, we didn't welcome you. Oh, Maro chased me away. Maro did this so that the internet has something to say. Not really. You know, that makes a lot of conflict, uh, especially me and my new partner, Rocio. Because uh, Rocio, for her, she likes things to to follow some some structure. So when you come at the gate and 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 you are not you don't have an appointment you don't have anything. Yeah. And you know guys he came I think wh when was that yesterday? On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Today is Wednesday. That's why my new partner she likes to follow some structure. That's why your new partner will insult a whole black nation and you have nothing to say about it. That's why my new partner Mr. Kenge, shut up and hide your face. Get out of here. Get out of here. Barra, 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 barra. Get out of here from our space. Can we look at our Mrs. Maya? Mrs. Maya is in Miami, you know? Miami things. Hey! You don't know how I feel, guys, to see Mrs. Maya collaborating with two biggest YouTubers, you know? <laughs> Seeing Mrs. Maya. And I'm like, where's with the Maya? Tayo Aina is also in Yankee. Mrs. Maya collaborated with two biggest YouTubers, check in effect, Yankee YouTuber, and of course our Nigerian YouTuber, Tayo Aina, <laughs> our Niger half Nigerian. Now Tayo got himself a new passport, St. Christopher. Tayo Aina is half Nigerian and of recent half St. Christopher. You guys should leave me alone. St. Kaita people, don't come for me. Leave me alone with my dragon English. I don't want, I don't want. I don't need correction. Don't come and tell me it's not St. Kaita, it's St. Christopher. Mm -mm, stop it. Well, it was a nice collaboration. They were on the street asking people what they think about. Of course, the kind of content that I told you guys that I was expecting from Maya. Why did Maya horridly left? Why did Maya leave Yankee so fast? Yeah? Will I say that Maya became intimidated? You know, Maya is pure African man. Hey, Maya maybe getting to Miami was like, what is it? What? What is going on here? No, I must go back to Ghana and go make this thing make sense. I must go back to Ghana. Whatever that is happening in Yankee, I want to see Yankee. I want to see this happening in my state. I want to see my state looking this beautiful. I want to see my beach organized like this. Would that be another reason why I'm just joking? I heard that he had to leave. I think there's internet issues in Ghana and in Nigeria as well. We've been having this MTN Wahala in Nigeria. So Maya was like, oh, happy to escape from these internet issues in Ghana. And he made it to Tanzania. He's currently in Tanzania. I don't understand this, but well... Since Mrs. Maya is there, I don't understand it. Probably they just want to make it like that. Since both of them are travel bloggers and they can both function independently. Mm, but it would have been nice if it was Maya that did this content. Nobody should come for me. This is what I feel. Mrs. Maya did excellent job, though I didn't like her dressing. <laughs> she was still bitching even on the streets. What happens in Miami should stay in Miami. Not in her community, not on our faces. She shouldn't come and rob whatever that happens there. I don't have problem with bikini things. You guys should try to understand it. It's a culture thing. We are not uh, Americans. In well, in Africa, we are not Americans. You, you, it becomes a problem. When you are an African, you want to come and act like an American in Africa. Uh -uh. Most of us will remind you that mm -mm -mm, don't come and do Western thing. Leave Westerners to do their own thing. Do your own thing. They will respect you if you do your. If Mrs. Maya was there with her girl, dressed up nicely in her African attire, African dressing is sexy as well. African attire is beautiful like nothing else. Nobody can tell me anything. You must not look beautiful when you show all your cleavages. Your arms, your shoulder, your legs, everything is out. Nothing is hidden. And you are doing street interview with guys. Mm? In a bikini. 
What are you guys not telling me? You're gonna do interview, street interview with the bikini. Interesting interview, guys. Hey, <laughs> there's this Yankee guy that was like, no, 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 no. We are awkward when it comes to looking after our parents because in Africa, you keep your aged parents with you. They age with you. You even if they are sick, they are there. You nurture, you take care of them, you pamper them. You don't throw them to old age home. You don't throw them to hospice. Not that we don't have hospice in Africa. You know, we Africans, we like to copy Western people like crazy. <laughs> we still have something like that, but it's not rampant, of course, compared to the Western world, where ah, some people, they are very particular. When the parents are sick and maybe they have Alzheimer, they have memory loss, they have all these health issues. They throw them to hospice. They throw them to orphanage home, which doesn't make sense, honestly. So this Yankee guy was like, in Africa, family stay together, no matter what, no matter the age, no matter what is going on, they stay together. You don't throw your parents out because you want to have a birthday party and you are not proud to show your elderly parents. You don't do stuff like that. It's actually a blessing to look after your parents. Let's watch Mrs. Maya before we call it a day. As long as they keep fighting for themselves and not everybody else, stop fighting for everybody else. Fight for yourself, Africans. Sorry. What sickness? Uh, HIV. What? In our own history, in our own part, we're going backwards, we de-evolving. The reason why? because we think this European lifestyle is so freaking great. It isn't. Our history, the Caribbean, Africa, we don't send our parents, they stay there until they die. They stay home until they die. And they get buried in the backyard. We take care of our aunts, yeah. we take care of our uncles, right. we take care of everybody home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here, uh, mama forgot my birthday. Nah, send her home, send, send, her, send her over there. It's taking effect is um, American vlogger, but also very very busy in Africa. He has been to he has been to Nigeria. He has been to Makoko. He has been to so many African countries. And he said he loves Ghana, South Africa, and Kenya. These three countries. Hey, right, check it first. Do we have problem with you? How come you are saying that you don't like Nigeria? I'm just kidding. Of course, Africa is beautiful, guys. It doesn't matter. Each country is unique and beautiful. Um, for people to think that, oh, we are dying of diseases here, HIV, is crazy. <laughs> HIV is what? Pandemic is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Actually, Oyibo people are the ones that brought it to Africa. It's the opposite. But like he said, this is what the media fed them with. Media made them see Africa as a potter place where the roads are not tired, where some of us are even living on the trees. We have only mud houses. We don't have clean water. We don't have good drainage system. We we shit in the bush. You know, <laughs> this is what the media fed them with. But of course, uh, the likes of Maya is changing the narrative. And of course, Czech also said that being in Africa, he has seen that that is not true. Mm, what the media made Africa look like is not true. Mm? We look after ourselves. We are aware of all these things. We are aware of STDs. We are, we are health conscious. We have our struggles as Africans. But of course, mm, mm -hmm, we are proud, like every other country, to be who we are, despite our challenges. Yes. All right, guys, if you watch to this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. You are the bestest. Thank you all for coming in today to support Kuku Mama. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. You all are amazing. Now, can you shower this video with your likes? Drop it with the for Kuku Mama. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, hit on that red button to join the family. Yeah, there's no time to waste time. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys.